Toyota car was pretty cool. I, I did like that. But like I said, we'll put on the um, the, land, the metal land speeder. Like I said, if you've seen it before, fair enough. But uh, it is what he makes is really cool. It looks, it just looks awesome, man. So we've got to watch it. It's eBay Star Wars time. Yes. eBay Star Wars Project time. Three, he made a giant at He huge did. Oh. Garden Playhouse. 2017 went even bigger. Full size Kylo Ren tie sign. So, that was cool. Our third project in this wonderful trilogy. What are we going to do? The at well, was really cool. We need something that works. Something that moves. So I'm thinking you can go inside and everything. Nice. What did he do with it? Yes, Luke's land speeder. Now, the kid the won it. All right. Walker is kind of like the last film in the trilogy of trilogies. So I'm thinking we'll go right back to the start and kind of build one of the first iconic vehicles of the franchise. Now, of course, we're going to get all the stuff from eBay. So when I look at this, I kind of think golf buggy. That's not much for a golf buggy. I thought it'd be more than that. <laughs> Got me golf buggy, so I've just got to work out how I turn that into this. And if you're wondering why eBay constantly sponsor me to make Star Wars stuff, it's because it's to advertise the fact you can get all the official merchandise off their website brand new. That's why. Anyway, let's get on with this. There's a lot of work to do. Oh, yeah, the hover bike. I wish he'd done four ho um, jets. It'd be more stable, but it was really cool. Yeah. It didn't get as much publicity as I thought it would do, the uh, hover bike. I thought it'd be really big, but it, it didn't really get as much publicity. It was in the paper, though. I did see it in the paper. You don't appear to want to come out of there, did you? I've just made it smaller, essentially. What's he doing? There we go. Right, that's got it stripped. Guess you don't need those bits. Really. Good steering, nice suspension. Right, motor, bashed it off, tried to press the middle out, didn't work, cut it in half, then pressed the middle out, and that's given me this little spline shaft look. We can whack that on there, we're going to put some plates around, stick a bearing on it, and then we're going to stick another electric motor on it. I don't want to do petrol, because the sound of a petrol engine is not very Star Wars. So this one had a 2.2 kilowatt motor What's in that? It, and the one I'm replacing uh, it's just it with... A it's 30 DeWalt kilowatts, so it should give us a bit more. Screwdriver thing. You have to gear it slightly different so it goes a bit faster. Yes, that is, that is, that is what gonna do. Uh, I think it's the plasma jet. That I was just using. Yes, his lathe was bigger than mine, or what mine was. Don't have one now, it's gone. You have to do a before and after of the workshop. Yeah, I'll, yeah I could do. I'll, uh, I'll try and grab some pictures. Wouldn't you need more power than that? Motors mounted, very pleased with that. Now, I've temporarily laid some batteries and the motor controller out. I'm not sure if this is how it's going to stay, but I'm just going to give it a test before I get too carried away. So, we'll wire three batteries up to run on 60 volts. If it's all good, then I'll go from there. Well, it runs, but how much better and faster it's going to be, I've no idea. Right, let's get on with the rest of it. You're surprised he was allowed to do it? What, the... The, 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 the uh, bike thing? The car? Yeah. Why? Oh, right, Disney hates the OG. Yeah, that's true. I think anything to do with the OG, Disney had to pay Lucas. Um, so, which is why they've tried to get away from anything OG as fast as possible. I might be wrong. 
But yeah, I see your point. I, I'm surprised actually you got away with it. Well, I suppose it's okay. We have a bath. Just a random YouTuber making something, so they can't really get too annoyed, can they? Assembly, everything's done there. Steering column's all done. I think I'm a bit taller than Mark Hamlin because it's a bit pokey for me, but I'll just have to live with that. Hamlin. Now, the next thing we need to do is body work. Now, I thought. We'll fiberglass it. So, we've got a bit of plywood. We shaved some foam down. That made a mess. Made like the rough shape. Covered it in like fiberglass and resin. Awful! <laughs> it's not smooth. By the time of like smoothing this all down with like filler and stuff, it'd take ages and would weigh a ton. So I was thinking, but you know, maybe metal is a good idea. Because I, I dismissed it originally thinking it would weigh too much. But this thing ain't light. So, I'm going to do it out of metal. Going to need some metal shaping equipment and some new skills. So I've hit the internet and I've got this. Shrinker stretcher, planishing machine, English wheel. The front of the nice. ship has got all these compound curves and stuff. Just just to be noted actually, all those machines will be the exact same machines you'd use to make armor with. So if you wanted to make armor, um, like plate armor for your chest, shoulders, arms, wrists, whatever it is, you would actually use a, those three machines a lot in the main process of getting the curves and the fit, fit the the shape of the armor, uh, and then you use some other ones to do the finer details. Um, if you are going to make armor, one little tip: I would strongly advise making armor out of aluminium. I would most probably advise using a 1.5 mil thick sheet of aluminium. And when you get to your edges, you want to turn the edges over and crimp them. By crimping the edges and turning them over, it actually triples the strength and rigidity of the armor itself. So something to keep in mind if you are going to make some real armor. So hopefully with these, why don't I, I make do armor? Because I've got rid of my workshop. Luke's land speeder looks like it's been crashed. <laughs> right, come on, birds. On your metal shaping skills, let's go. Those machines cost a lot of money. I wanted one for ages, but they cost so much. I think he's, he's using steel. Okay, time for the nose. So, how do I know? Frame. So, the reason I know he's using steel is because you can weld, steel is perfect for welding. Uh, and he's TIG welding by the look of it. If I'm wrong, please put in the comments. But I think it's TIG welding that he's using. Um, whereas aluminium is a completely different story when it comes to welding aluminium. Aluminium melts at a much lower temperature, so you have to use a very different type of welder or welding technique for aluminium. So, yeah. Which bolts onto the front of the land speeder. Now we need to English wheel. But steel is a, uh, uh, steel's a lot heavier than aluminium. It's going to be tricky. Sit them on, tack them on, weld them on, just have a go. Now this is the bit I'm most excited about, but it is going to be the hardest part. I can't remember what torch is called. So that's a roller, you use that to roll out any bumps and imperfections from the sheet after you finish banging it into shape. Uh, it smooths out the metal. It does look cool. I wonder if he sold that. You could get a lot of money. I, I bet someone would pay maybe... A, I bet you could get at least five or six grand for that if you sold it. There'd be someone out there that would want that. And if it's all metal, that'd be well cool. I'm not sure when the last one of these, last one of these that he did. I don't think he did one last year. 
have a nose. Pretty pleased with that, first time at English wheeling. I think I've done all right, but I'm not finished yet. This is only the front of the Land Speeder. I've got the sides to finish. I've got the rear arches and the rear quarters. I've got the, got the jets to make them mount. We've got a wind screen to sort out. There's so much stuff to do. That looks cool. So little time. The cockpit looks really good. You'd pay five, six k for it. Yeah, I'll be honest. If that came up for auction, fully working still, and it was like five, six grand. Yeah, I would do. I mean, the thing is, just keep this in mind. If you could get one of those, or if you could buy that, and it was like maybe ten grand, say then all you need it you could use it for conventions it would be a huge turn you know all those things like comic cons and all those things would hire you to go down uh like the deloreans the batmobile it'd be another one of the famous vehicles um so you could make quite a lot of money just by going to different uh, events and having it being displayed you know so i hope he wouldn't it? it'd be good if you could go yeah he only got and done it he got it. He's got a rough shake, old boy. We clearly a lot of work's gone into making it. Could I make this? I could. If I were to try and make it, I would make it out of um, wood. I don't have a wood frame and I'd most probably use I don't know five mil thick um, ply boards to get the curve and that sort of thing it wouldn't I wouldn't go in metal uh, if I had a welder I would do but if I don't have a welder then maybe not I think it'd be a lot easier making all these bends, curves and that sort of thing in, it, in, it, in wood personally, if I were to do it. But I'm biased, I, I love wood, I'd love to work with wood more. Yeah, I would love to see him make a Batmobile. I can really, there's a there's a pay you can get that absorbs 99.98% of light. I would love someone to make a Batmobile and paint it in that. So if it was night time, you, it literally would be invisible. You would not see it. That would be epic. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. The uh, exhaust. Look how good that that is. He should make the rocket man suit. Yeah, the uh, the jetpack for rocket from the Rocketeer. Not Rocket Man, the Rocketeer. Yeah, absolutely right. That'd be so. I love that. It's a piece of art. The um, Rocketeer jetpack. Again, guys, I don't have a workshop anymore. I can't make anything at all. That's now all done and dusted behind us. I wonder how much it'll be for uh, the Rocketeer jetpack. Oh, can you imagine how going to a Comic Con as a Rocketeer? That'd be so cool. Okay, bodywork is finished. We have bent it, we have shaped it, we have made a beautiful job of it. There is still a few things to do mechanically, and of course, it needs a paint job, but it has been a monster of a task. Look at it, you cannot not be happy with that. This thing that is, is so absolutely cool. spot on. Right, next video, it'll be painted, we're gonna drive it, and there's gonna be a couple of, a couple, a couple of extras. See you there. Subscribe. Yeah, that, he did such a good job on that. Is That is so cool, man. 
I, I would love, love to get my hands on that. <laughs> Can you imagine driving around the centre of town with it or something? Oh, man, it'd be epic. It'd be so cool.